And they'll be reading Baba Helene and the King. Okay, my name is Adrian Alvarez. Uh, I'm Jack Nemechek. This is our story here. It's called Baba Helene and the King. Yeah. In the depths of the world, there lives a small kingdom known as the Hillerside Kingdom. In this kingdom, there lives a very ruthless and notorious trickster named Baba Helene. She's a very beautiful woman, but don't let her looks fool you. She's a lying crook. One day, in the Hillerside Kingdom, Bobby was thinking to herself, what if I tried to deceive the king for some Bitcoin? She had done small things, like steal bread from Baker, but nothing this grand before. How should I do this? How should I trick the king? Bobby pondered. She thought it out and made a foolproof plan. She would go into the castle and ask the king for some Bitcoin to save her sick son. She also thought about how she was going to get into the castle. How was she going to get past the guards? She thought that out and made a plan for that too. She went out to the castle to try to bribe the king's guard with some Bitcoin. She said to the guard, If you want me in to see the king, I will give you a thousand Bitcoin after my deed has been done. The guard agreed and asked, When will this deed be done? Friday afternoon at 1 p.m. I will let you in after two days have passed, the guard said. Yes, you will, Bobbleen said to herself. Money is the key to everything. Friday came, and Bobbleen was ready. She went out to the castle and was let in as promised. She went to the king's hall and saw the king. The king was short, with short hair, and was dressed in royal clothing. The king saw an old lady approaching, but the old lady was really just Bobbleen in disguise. What business do you have here? The king said with a voice as stern as stone. Please, if you would be so kind and lend me one million bitcoin to save my son, he's very ill. How could the king be rude enough to let a kid die? She said to herself, what is that? Okay. She, she went out, after the deal was done, she paid the guard accordingly, and she went out to get, go get some Gucci and Supreme clothes. One day, the king was walking around his kingdom and came across Baldwin with clothes on. <laughs> the guard recognized her and asked, I mean, the king recognized her and asked, You bear a striking resemblance to the woman I had in my castle a few weeks ago. Are you related to her? Uh, y yes, I am related to her, Bobbling replied, shaking with fear. The king was delighted and asked her, <laughs> and asked her about her relative's son. Uh, she's fine. She? King asked, growing more and more suspicious. Uh, 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 I gotta go, Bobbling said and ran away. One guard called, Stop right there! Never, Bobbling replied back. They ran through bikes, cars, and motorized scooters. Bobbling pushed down pedestrians and jumped on a hover car. The guards turned on their rocket boots and set their lasers to stun. They shot at Bobbleine and missed horribly and hit the driver of the car. The car went into the auto drive and pulled over safely. Bobbleine was on the run. Now that she was on foot, the guards had an easier shot at her. They shot and stunned her. Bobbleine was caught and hung for her actions. What can you learn from Bobbleine's tragedy? You should never lie for self gain. You, you should, should always work hard for profit. profit. Mm -hmm.